This is my home assistant and I'm accessing it right now through my computer, through my local network. So you can see that it's 192.168.1.229 because I'm associated with Verizon. Now to access this remotely, there's the unsecure easy way, which is port forwarding. And then there is the super secure way, but hard to set up, which is VPN. Luckily, there is an easier alternative between the two, which is easy, but yet somehow still secure. And that is via zero tier. Let me show you. First, go to zerotier.com. If you don't have an account, click on register. You can create your own account here, or you can just click in sign in with Google. And that's what I'm going to do now. Sign in with my Google account. Click on create a network. Once you create a network, it's going to give you a network ID, the name of it. If you click on it, you can rename it to whatever you want and make sure that you keep track of this network ID. There's a lot of options, but make sure that your access control is private. You do not want anybody to see this network. There is a lot of options if you scroll down, but I'm going to keep everything default. Down in this section, you can see that I only have four devices. Each one of them are different IP address that was assigned by zero tier. You can actually give it your own IP address, but for now, I'm just going to keep it the default that was assigned by zero tier. In order to add your home assistant onto this zero tier network, go ahead and click in supervisor, add on store, search for zero tier, click on it. In the configuration, give it the network that I mentioned earlier before. Very important. Just copy and paste. This is double space, one, two, dash, space, paste the network ID in. Click on start. And there you go. Your home assistant is now on the zero tier global network in your private network of zero tier, which is this one. Well, not this one, because this is mine. If you want to set up your Windows machine or whatever machine to get on the same network, you need to download the software for your Windows machine or whatever operating system you're on. So if you're on Windows, click on download. And here are all the available flavors for your PC. I'm going to choose Windows and install this one. Go ahead and install the app that you just download. Open the control panel for the zero tier. Paste the network ID here and then click on join network. You can see I already added into my Windows 10 machine. If I want to connect to that network, all I have to do is just connect or reconnect in my case. Once I'm connected to the global network, you can see that this status would change from whatever to online. When I hit the refresh of this page, I can see that my Windows machine is now showing up as online. Of course, my home assistant at the house is also online. Now on your phone, let's try to get it on the zero tier network. Click on Play Store, download the zero tier app. I already downloaded it, installed, so all I have to do is click on open. For you, click on install or get. In the upper right hand corner, just click on plus. Paste your network ID in here. And then click on add network down the bottom. Click on connect. And here in a web page, if I hit refresh, it will show that the phone is now online as well. Bada bing! With the phone online, the home assistant online, and my desktop online, these three devices can now talk to each other easily. So on my phone, let's open up home assistant. Click on continue. I can choose 
the IP address from my local network, which is 192, or I can enter address manually. On a browser, the Home Assistant would be 10.147.18.27. Clean it up, make sure there's no extra spaces between the numbers. I don't know why my phone automatically entered those spaces and click on connect. And there you go, I am now connected to my Home Assistant at this address. Enter the username and the password as usual and click on login. Now your phone, wherever you are, anywhere in the world, as long as you get online, you can get into this zero tier network and then log into Home Assistant as usual. It's such a great way to access your Home Assistant from anywhere in the world. And I can't believe that it's free. That was pretty easy, right? In the next video, I'm going to show you how to link multiple home assistants into this zero tier network. I mean, this is one way to access all of your home assistants as well as other devices. For instance, you can share movies, files, documents, anything, everything, all of your devices, all in one network from anywhere in the world. Hopefully you found this video helpful in order to access your home assistant online for free. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And as always, I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.